guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are scrapbooking with this sketch right here. Now again, um, the last 10 days of 100 sketchy videos are going to be these uh, sketches that I've come up with myself. Now these are pretty basic sketches, so you could keep them as simple as you want it, or you could just keep going like more is more kind of thing. So today is number 96 out of 100, and I have some squares and a grid pattern and uh, one horizontal photo. Now, I'm already changing it because I'm gonna be using a vertical photo. I'm also using my SCT sampler, uh, what is left of it, and there's a lot left. And this pattern paper, uh, which is from one of Chamel's collections, and for some reason it is blanking in my head right now. So, let's see what I can do. All right, guys, I went through my SCT sampler and found some papers that I thought I would work. And then I also have this polka dot paper that I've used on another layout. Um, it isn't going to be the size that I need. Uh, so I just go ahead and trim down one size, uh, one side rather, uh, because I'll tuck it underneath of my photo. And you and I will be the only ones that know that that paper isn't actually the full size. So I am thinking about this and cutting my pieces down. And I cut them down to three and a quarter when I meant to cut them down to three and three quarters. I meant to have a uh, larger square and less of the background paper around it. Uh, but I kind of screwed that up. Uh, so... Uh, and I don't even realize I screw it up until the end. Um, and that is when I'm trying to put them down on this background paper. And I'm like, oh, oh, that's that's a big gap. What did I do? And then I'm thinking, what can I do to fix this? So I decide that I'm going to mat uh, each one of these squares down. Because look how big those gaps are, guys. <sighs> way too big. Way, way bigger than I wanted it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and mat those on some khaki colored paper. And I toyed with the idea of white paper. I toyed with the idea of a teal paper. Um, but then ultimately I decided to go with the neutral. Um, and I figured that because there were so many uh, different and varying colors on here, that that really just worked the best. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut down each of these khaki squares to three and a half. Um, and that way my three and a quarter inch squares will mat on top of it just fine. Now I'm still a little bit smaller than I want it to be, um, but that's okay. It turns out uh, pretty good if I do say so myself. Now I am going to uh, not use that beautiful striped paper uh, that you saw me uh, kind of caressing there a minute ago. Um, I'm not exactly sure which collection this is from. I got to figure it out by looking at my SCT kit. Um, I'm pretty sure it is uh, the Wonders collection from Paige Evans and I just love those greens, blues, and purples. It's gorgeous and I decided that I needed to save that and use that for another layout especially because I have the pinks and the yellows and I'm doing that neon green uh, over here instead of more of the grassy green. So now that I have these guys matted on the uh, khaki colored cardstock, I'm gonna go ahead and place them down. And then as you can see, that is where I kind of cheated with that dotted paper. And I figured my photo was gonna cover it up so it is going to be all good. Now, I was originally going to uh, keep the grid squares the same direction as I had originally intended in the sketch. However, I decided to mix it up a little bit and kind of just turn that sketch on its side. So what that's going to do is give me my grid squares at the top of the layout. And then my photo is going to be in the same position uh, that it was in the original sketch. Uh, it just works a little bit better for my portrait photo and then having uh, overlap on top of the squares of colored pattern paper. So I am going to map my photo on some fun foam and that is going to be awesome. It's going to lift it up a little bit and just give it um, a little bit of 
of dimension. It's just a tiny, tiny little bit, you guys. Fun Foam is super thin. It's not going to give me a whole lot of lift or height. It's just going to give me that little extra oomph off of the background. I am going to go ahead and use this teal color doily. And the teal doily uh, looks really good on top of this blue on blue square. Um, even though the teal isn't the exact same color um, as the teal in that pattern paper, it works. It coordinates really well. So now I have this tag and I decide I don't want to use it as a tag. I want to make a banner because I feel like um, underneath of the photo down here is a little bit naked and I need some things. So I trim off the purple color of the banner. Uh, over or the tag and turn it into a banner. I just find the center point, uh, mark a little dot, and then cut into it. And at first, I think it's going to go directly underneath my photo and kind of tuck into that uh, green on green paper. However, um, I end up finding a die cut that says Hello Lovely. And it has a big, big, big honking butterfly on it. And the only time um, I scrapbook with butterflies is when I have to <laughs> prove a point that I can um, or if it is a completely appropriate thing. I don't find butterflies to be a fun thing to put on my page. I don't find them to be a good generic embellishment. Um, I'm more into hearts and stars than uh, butterflies. Um, but I do um, plan on scrapbooking with butterflies uh, in the future, you guys. I went to the Butterfly House when I was at the Flower and Garden Festival in Epcot. So um, I took pictures of actual butterflies. Um, so there will be a butterfly scrapbooking. Can you believe it? Now, I know there are a couple of you that have the same aversion to them in your scrapbooking pages as I do. So you might want to skip those videos. Now, I am trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing over here. And I decide to place this sunshine and smiles uh, kind of... It has like crepe paper and um, like some gold foiled die cut thing going on to it and at first I think it's going to kind of overlap where it says hello lovely uh, but ultimately I do move it and I think I don't move it until close to the very end of the layout. Now I do decide that I need an extra banner over here that the one plain purple banner just is not enough for me so I have this off cut of a pattern paper from the same kit now, I had trimmed part of that pattern paper off for another layout and still had this bad boy. Can you believe it? I actually had a scrap of paper. Um, but it was just such a pretty purple, and I really liked the design that much that I decided I would probably use it again. Um, now, I go ahead and finagle that and place it underneath of the die cut. And then I'm trying to figure out um, in my stash what letter stickers I can use. So I'm thinking about using a crisp pour um, because that is what we call this, um, this level of wine pouring. Um, my husband uh, pours a very nice glass of wine and um, yeah, he just does. So that's what we're calling it, a crisp pour. Um, even though I call him Christopher. It's fine. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and place uh, the sticker underneath that says that moment when. Um, I decided not to go with the whole pour thing. I just decided to um, journal about that underneath. So now I go ahead and move this bad boy around. I try to figure out the best place for it. Um, I really don't like it there. I like how it kind of nestles between that L and E for the word smile, but I really hate how it looks where my um, grid pattern paper is. Um, I even think about um, trying to add in some more circles. And I quickly nix that idea and just decide to move this guy up a little bit. And then I'm going to grab my white Uniball Signo Broad uh, pin 
and I'm just journaling about the crisp pour. So it says this is a crisp pour. As you can see, Christopher, make sure the wine glass is full. I do have to say it's a shock when we go to a restaurant and I get a glass of wine. It's just a tad different. And you guys, it's seriously. So um, I went to Le Chef de France in uh, Epcot and ordered a glass of wine and the little glass was the glass was little the wine was little um it was just a whole weird situation and i wanted to be like i'm an adult i can have an adult size but you know you don't say that so anyway that is going to do it for this layout thank you so much for joining thanks so much for watching can you believe we were almost at the end of 100 sketchy videos it has flown by and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.